Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about half wave rectifier. These are the points covered in this tutorial. In the previous tutorials, we have learned that a semiconductor diode conducts in forward bias condition and acts as a short circuit. But, negligible or no current flows in reverse bias condition or works as an open circuit. This simple logic is used to design a half wave and full wave rectifier. A rectifier is a circuit that converts AC voltage or signal to DC signal. In general, it converts alternating current to direct current and mostly used in the power supply section of an electronic circuit because a DC voltage supply is most essential in any electronic circuit. In a half wave rectifier, we get the output signal for half time period of the input signal or waveform, as shown in this figure. Now, let us understand the working of half wave rectifier. The simplest of network to examine with the time varying signal appears, as shown in the figure A. Assume that the diode is ideal, one full cycle is defined by the period, capital T, VI, be the input sinusoidal voltage. Now, we will consider the circuit for positive and negative half cycles separately. During the time interval, 0 to T by 2, 2 as shown in the figure, B, the polarity of the applied voltage, VI, will pressure in the indicated direction and the diode is on, or act as a short circuit. Output signal during this period is exact replica of the input signal. Now, let us analyze the circuit, for the negative half cycle. The diode is reverse biased, and works as an open circuit. This results in, absence of charge flow, or, acts as an open circuit. Therefore, the output voltage becomes zero during this period. The output signal, V out, has a net positive area above the axis, over a full period. Therefore the average value, of the output is given by, VDC, equal to, 0 0.318 VM. The process of removing one half cycle of the input signal, to establish a DC level is called, half wave rectification. Now, we will consider the effect of using silicon diode, with threshold voltage, VT equal to 0.7 volt. As shown in this figure, for the forward bias region, the applied signal must be at least 0.7 volt before the diode turns on. For the levels of VI, less than VT, the diode still acts as an open circuit, and the output voltage is equal to zero. Therefore, V out becomes equal to V in, minus V T. The net effect is, reduction in area above the axis. Therefore for a very large value of V M, in comparison to, V T, the average value of the output voltage is given by, V D C, approximately equal to 0 0.318 V M, minus V T. Now, we will see the importance of peak inverse voltage, or peak reverse voltage, in the rectification process. Peak inverse voltage is the voltage rating, that must not be exceeded in the reverse bias region. Otherwise the diode will enter the Zener avalanche region. The required peak inverse voltage rating for the half wave rectifier, can be determined from this equation, 13.3. It is clear that, peak inverse voltage rating of the diode, must be equal to, or greater than the peak value of the applied voltage, VM. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.